Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Sid, a.k.a. Vicious274, coming at you with another review slash unboxing. Um, normally, when a company sends me a product to review, I don't do an unboxing, but um, this time they asked me to do it specifically because they wanted to see the expression on my face because they said they made something for me. And uh, this product is from Ghetto Grind Concrete. And I had to pre-cut the package open because it came in a pretty big box and this was wrapped all around it. So I had to cut that out. And then I've got the box right here. It's opened. I haven't looked inside yet. So I'm going to start pulling some stuff out and see uh, what it is that he sent that he wanted to see uh, the expression. There's a note on here. It says, Too Vicious 274. Hey, sorry if it... If it has cracked or chipped in the mail, I sent it without any. I threw in some stickers. Did he's sorry if the one on the old edge sloppy? All right, so this is from Jeff Rasco from Ghetto Grind. He sent a little artwork right there. Very nice. Okay, so what else do we have here? We've got some packaging to make sure the products don't get damaged there's actually a lot of stuff in here I was not expecting uh, this much stuff okay got some more product there some more paper 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 well he packaged it very well so I don't think it's gonna be chipped or cracked at least I hope it's not and then we've got an empty box. All right. Oh, now I see what he meant. So he does some graffiti art as well. And he did one for me. It says Vicious. And then right here on the side, 274. And also down here, Vicious 274. That is very, very nice. I like it. That's awesome, dude. I gotta find a place to put that. Sweet! Alright, so uh, I've got products and extras. Some stickers, some wax, some trucks. Nice! Very nice. And then I have the actual product I believe is in here that I'm gonna be reviewing. So. Stay tuned for that. I'm just going to pause it and go use the product, see how it is. And then um, I'll come back and review uh, the Ghetto Grind Concrete Ledge. And again, thank you so much for that. I know it probably took some time to do this. It's very much appreciated. Thank you so much. All right, be back soon. All right, guys, so I'm back. I've had some time to use the, um, the ledge. I'm going to talk to you about it for, uh, in a second. But first, I just want to show you some of the other products that um, Ghetto Grind has that they also sent me. They've got pivot cups, trucks, and clear bushings. So go check those out. They've also got wax for your obstacles or even if you want to put them on uh, obstacles that you actually uh, used to skate on. Uh, now we also got some stickers, there's one there, Ghetto Grind, it's very nice, and we've got this other one here, Ghetto Grind. And they've also got come in smaller sizes as well, got little mini ones, and ones this big, very nice. Now what I'm reviewing is their transition ledge. Now it did come a bit messed up here on the bottom but uh, he explained to me that that was because he was in a hurry to ship it out to me and he didn't exactly let it set completely but I think it kind of gives it a nice realistic look and what I really enjoyed was he put more graffiti art on the back it says, it says vicious there and then vicious 274 now it's got a bit of a flat flat edge here then you got a little raised coping and then you have your transition. But what you, ha what you probably haven't noticed yet is that this is actually an up ledge as well. See, this end here is slightly lower than this side here. And I, I found that really cool because it gave, it gave me the option of having 
different size and level transitions. Like if I wanted a short transition, I would work on this side. And then if I wanted a higher transition, I can come to this side. And then I can also do like up ledge tricks and then down ledge. It's a, it's a, it's a nice multi-purpose obstacle. I really enjoyed it. It also came equipped with non-sliders and it is extremely, extremely smooth. I didn't even have to use any wax on it. My trucks on the coping just slid very nice, able to transition down very nice. And even though it's all a little cracked here on the bottom, there was no interference coming up. Like the, the wheels wouldn't get caught at the end. It was still a very smooth ride. Come up, grind, come back down. I've, I like this obstacle very, very much. And I like when people put uh, like they, they put other ideas into their products. Like a lot of people have probably seen this style of uh, transition ledge before, but to make it just a little bit different, he decided to make it an up ledge as well. So again, I'm gonna let you guys get a look at that, so you can see the actual different levels. This is the short end, and then you see it slides up to the higher point here. Very nice. So guys, go check out Ghetto Grind. I'm going to have all the information down here uh, to their website and also their YouTube channel. The YouTube channel name is Hero Asian Man. He's my homie. Go check him out. He's super legit. I'm sure he'd be happy to hear from you. Again, his name is Hero Asian Man. His name and website will be down here. So go check him out and keep fingerboarding. Two fingers. Peace.